so summertime, time to go to the beach, time to go to the pool, time to, you know, get outside and do all that, all that good stuff. Um, you know, get fit, get, you know, get, uh, get strong. However, however, um, a lot of, I guess it's more aimed at, uh, well, not anyone, this could be aimed at anyone. Uh, it's good to keep, uh, there's one muscle that is often neglected, and that's this guy up here, the brain. We don't really, you know, we don't think constructively enough at times, and we don't really, uh, you know, we don't really read, and I mean, that's not really, it's probably not the best thinking exercise, but you know, it's still a good, uh, good thing to do. It's good to pick up new stuff. Um, so I'm just going to let you guys know my summer reading list, or whatever you uh, want to call it. Um, it's I try to make it a habit, where I'll read a little bit, you know, on the downtime, pick up a book, whatever. Or if you're at the beach and you're out there in the sun, you know, take out a little book. Um, yeah, I don't know. So this is uh, this is just a few of the stuff I'm reading, and uh, I mean not all at once, but uh, let me just get to it. So the first book I actually finished it um, yesterday is um, Solitary Fitness by Charles Bronson. Uh, this guy's. Uh, maybe in the U.S. is not really known, but elsewhere in the U.K. and all that, it's, um, I think he's a little, <clears throat> sorry, I need some water. He's a little better known as, um, you know, uh, what do they call him? Whatever, he's like a dangerous guy, apparently, in the prison. Um, but he's supposed to be, like, crazy strong. So, I'm, you know, I thought, why not? Got the book, and it's actually kind of weird. This is like a, he's a weird dude. But anyways, workouts look pretty good. I did it, did one this morning, and you know I'm sore in the chest, and you know the arms, and um, yeah, some some unique uh, exercises among the other uh, basic stuff like the push-ups and la di da and all that. Uh, so basic, but just straight to business. Good stuff. Um, this one, well, I'll get to that one a little later. Next up is, uh, is one of my favorite authors, uh, Dostoevsky, Dostoevsky, I don't know how you say his name, uh, Fyodor Dostoevsky. He wrote, um, uh, he's probably most known for Crime and Punishment, I think it's called, and uh, Notes from the Underground. That was, uh, that one's, that one's my, one of my favorites. Um, the Devils, let me see a little, there you go. The Devils, it's, uh, it's kind of a cool cover. So I'm gonna check that one out. It's pretty big. And a good old classic that I never got around to, uh, Moby Dick by Herman Melville. This is, uh, I don't know, it's one of those classics that I just, you know, I wanna just figure out what's, uh, what's all the fuss about. And let's see. Oh, another one. Uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That one looks, uh, I always wanted to get around to it. And this monster, this one I've been reading for like the past, uh, <laughs> almost embarrassed to say, for the past year, and I still haven't really finished it because I keep bouncing around between books. Um, Atlas Shrugged, so I'm still, I'm like halfway through. Um, still got a ways to go. I mean, that's, it's ridiculous. I, I should be done with it, but um, ADD, what can you do? And the last uh, few on my little, on my queue, um, I'm almost hesitant to say it just because it's, uh, don't get the wrong impression of like what kind of character I am, but um, so I'm kind of, well, right, so I'm a little bit of a conspiracy nut, and um, so I like to read up on stuff like the Templar Knights, so I actually got a couple, found them in the bookstore for like a buck, so they're really cheap, and uh, the Templars, so those so some conspiracy history some uh solitary fitness and some good old classic literature so that and uh anyways so the whole point of this video was uh, i'm curious for those readers out there uh what are you guys reading what's uh what's your summer reading list um if at all you know if you if you, if you read books or not maybe you um maybe not but uh if you do um i recommend you do and uh yeah, let me know. Let me know what uh, what books you're reading.